Chinese lawmakers are deliberating a draft law to prevent food waste. The draft has been submitted to the country's top legislature, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress. CDTN's Wang Qiwei has the details. The draft of the anti-food waste law specifies the responsibilities of the government and duties of various sectors, including catering service providers and food delivery platforms. Food service operators will be warned and face punishment if they induce or mislead consumers into ordering food in excess and cause waste. The draft law also stipulates potential fines for broadcasters who spread content related to food waste, including overeating. On the one hand, the draft law plays a role of advocating against food waste in society. On the other hand, it not only stays in the level of moral education, but also specifies related regulations and punishment in this regard. Like many countries around the world, China faces challenges with food waste. A report last year showed that the annual food waste of the catering industry in China stands between 17 million to 18 million tons. That's enough to feed up to 50 million people in a year. Sometimes I invite my friends to a restaurant, and the etiquette of ordering a lot is very important. But in the end, we don't finish all the food, and the result is waste. In a Chinese culture. Empty plates are traditionally considered as a sign of a bad host, one who hasn't provided enough food. There has been widespread concern over the issue of food waste in recent years. In 2013, the country started a clean plate campaign to encourage people to finish their meals at restaurants. The review of the draft law this time comes four months after Chinese President Xi Jinping urged decisive action to stop wasting food. Once enacted, the law aims to promote better consumption behavior among Chinese and establish a long-term strategy to prevent food waste. Wang Xiwei, CGTN.